Yo, what up, YouTube? Philly Sports 76 coming at you with another IP recap. This is going to be Sixers and Timberwolves preseason finale. A um, couple things I want to go over in the video are just going to be um, obviously Sixers and a little bit of Eagles talk. Uh, might as well get into the Eagles right away. Um, tough loss against the Cowboys, but I think that was a good loss actually for us because. Um, it proves finally that Nick Foles is not the guy, and I've been saying that since day one, because he's not, I mean, he just looks so awful. He was missing receivers who were wide open. Um, the game was a disaster, and he was just so terrible. And even on the play he got injured on, um, he should have thrown the ball, you know, 20 seconds before he did. He's just so hesitant to make a mistake, um, whatever. Got the Giants this week and Michael Vick coming back, so, you know, I don't see why we shouldn't win this game, and if Dallas loses to uh, Detroit, then we're back in a tie for first, so right back to where we started two weeks ago. Um, as far as fantasy-wise, um, I am 5-2, and two, which is pretty good, uh, with Sean McCoy and Cam Newton are doing Pretty good for me. Those are my two main guys and Calvin Johnson. Um, anyway, uh, just think about um, Jermichael Finley. Have him in your prayers. He was on my fantasy team, and it's been, you know, a bad neck injury for him. Um, so, you know, you don't want to ever see someone get hurt. All right, to the Sixers game. Did the Sixers and Timberwolves, and... Um, if anyone thinks that the Sixers are going to have a good year this year, then you're obviously crazy because they're clearly tanking. Um, I was opposed to it, you know, as soon as they made the Drew Holiday trade. I was like, why are we doing this? Um, but I guess in the long run, it's better to be, like, awful for this year than to be mediocre for the next 10 years or whatever. So we might as well get this year out of the way, hopefully get a top solid draft pick who – you know, we can start building around. All right, so Timberwolves, uh, they were really good about signing. I don't know if it was just preseason or whatever, but um, the only Sixers autograph I got was Thad Young. Uh, kind of sucks. I'll just tell the story about this because him and Evan Turner went in at the same time. I went to the Timberwolves side first, but Timberwolves finished before the Sixers. Him and Evan Turner came in at the same time, and I really wanted Evan Turner more than Thad. I mean, no disrespect to Thad, but I mean, this has got to be my, at least my 30th autograph from him. Um, probably more. But, uh, so they were signing right next to each other, and Thad finished the person who was next to me, and then reached for my pen, so I'm like, alright, I might as well, you know, let him sign. And then just as I went to hand uh, my binder over to Evan, he turned around. So that kind of sucks, but uh, probably shouldn't have trouble with him. This year, hopefully, he's one of the guys who's out pregame this year. As far as the autograph signing goes, um, not really. I that made me so mad. Uh, me, my brother, and my friend got every single ticket for every station. But um, I was with Roy Rage Twenty Nine, and it was just Vander Blue and some other guy. I don't even know his name. So I was like, all right, forget this. Let's go find someone else. So we go to the blue section, and the lady's like, no, there's a cutoff. Like, how can you have a cutoff for um, an autograph signing? I thought that was so ridiculous. So after the game, we waited for an hour and didn't get to go to one thing because the lines were cut off. I mean, that that really sucks. So, and besides, it was stupid anyway because they wouldn't even let you get your own thing signed. So I had, I mean, I'll show you what I have. Nerlens Noel wasn't even there anyway. He wasn't even at the game, I don't think. But I have the Sports Illustrated for... Michael Carter Williams. Um, I also have this eight by ten, and it's my brother's and that of Nerlens Noel. So they weren't even let you get your own thing signed, which really sucks. So even if I had gotten Michael Carter Williams or whoever, then it wouldn't have been worth it because it would have been on a stupid blank piece of paper that they hand out. And I, I mean, that's so dumb. So I'll probably get them this year. They don't seem too hard to get. Um, all right, to the Timberwolves, 
I saw one guy out for the T Wolves, and I was like, all right, I'm definitely staying around here. Um, just my thing. I don't print for for teams. Uh, just because unless unless I know it's almost guaranteed, and I've never graphed the Wolves before, so I don't you know want to pay to get a eight by ten printed out or whatever. So I usually don't. So I since this was the first time, I only got cards signed. Um, so I got three from JJ Berea. Kind of cool. He signed three different ones at least. Um, so JJ Berea, he was nice. I'm still trying to get the spark plug set. I've only got two of like the 20 cards in it, which kind of sucks. But um, Chase Buttinger uh, wasn't out. I was hoping to get these done, but maybe sometime this year. Um, Derek Williams was cool. He signed two. I don't know if he's two per or just didn't realize that that was his card up there because it's kind of away from the others. But uh, that was cool. He signed two. Uh, no Kevin Martin, no Ricky, turn you off, Corey Brewer, he was really nice, signed five, uh, if you remember from last year, he's the guy who sunk the three free throws to beat us in Denver when we were winning by like five with 14 seconds left and lose by three, I think, that was a devastating loss, but Hopefully, if we get some of those losses this year, it'll just help us towards the number one pick. Um, Dante Cunningham, he only signed one. I think he's only one per. He only looked like he was signing one for everybody. Um, anyway, back to the Sixers real quick. Yeah, I, the only expectations I'm having for this year, definitely get the number one pick. Be the worst team in the league. And the only thing, I guess, positive is win at least 10 games and don't be the worst team in NBA history. Um, that record is held by the Sixers, by the way. I think nine wins in a full season. The Bobcats broke that, but that was a short season. All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, but there's one more mojo. Didn't get Shabazz. But this is the guy I went for, and it was worth it, Kevin Love. Um, didn't print, which... Kind of regret, but he was kind of sl signing sloppy anyway. Um, but I got him on two cards, which is sick. So uh, next time I'll definitely print for him if I ever graph the T-Wolves. He was really nice, signed for everybody, even though you could tell he was in a rush. He didn't, he didn't like, say it, or none of his security guards said it, but he was, you know, just the way he was doing things, he was kind of rushing. Um, yeah, this kid next to me had a pretty nice picture, but... Uh, the silver pen, I don't think it came out too good because he rushed it. Um, but I'm glad these came out alright. Um, so yeah, I'll definitely print for Kevin Love, but I'm sick to have gotten you know the best power forward in the league. Uh, this is probably up there with my best autographs ever of current players. I mean, I have AI, so it's tough to beat that. But current players, I think it's, it's uh, Kevin Love. It's probably num my number one now. I'd have to go back and think who else I've gotten. I mean, I have, I have Turner, Iguodala. They're not the best players in the league, though. Um, I have DeMar DeRozan, but whatever. Um, so, yeah, just comment. Um, let me know what you think about the Sixers. Uh, if you think that the Sixers have a chance, then please comment because I'd like to prove you wrong because, really, this is going to be a – Terribly bad year, but Sixers fans, just remember that every game we lose is a step towards a championship. Um, so don't worry. Uh, and by the way, at the game, Sixers did look absolutely dreadful. Uh, they, I mean, it's the last preseason game of the year, so you can't say they're rusty because it's preseason. But, like, they should be handling passes. They must have had, like, 10 passes easily, just, like, mishandled. Probably 20. Um... And they look hesitant, a lot of young guys, and whatever. I hope Royce White, honestly, can find a place on this roster and overcome his fear of traveling because I'm cheering for him. I feel bad for his situation, and I really hate um, the amount of hate he gets on Twitter, especially from a lot of uh, Rockets fans. I mean, it's just really awful how mean people could be to him. Um, but he's a cool dude. Uh, wishing the best, and same with Jermichael Finley. So that's it. 
I don't know my next game. Definitely not going to the home opener because tickets are way too expensive. But I'll see what I can do. See you.